I think there are three main reasons why autistics tend to be less religious than others. First, we can't stand hypocrisy. Either God exists or he doesn't. However, among neurotypical Christians in the U.S., 45%, almost half, go to church less than once a month. I can't imagine how you can believe God exists and not go to worship him even once a month. A lot of such people are functionally atheists, but remain officially religious, and we'll answer that on a survey, for social and cultural reasons. If such a person is autistic, they're much more likely to be blunt and just say that they're an atheist or agnostic. This seems more about pushing away from that mediocre center towards either extreme than directly being irreligious among autistics. Second, theory of mind creates a challenge for autistics. We struggle to understand what others are thinking. Most people subconsciously intuit what the other person is thinking from their facial expressions, vocal tone, etc. Personally, I do a lot more of that consciously. Many autistics struggle even more than I do with this. This makes it hard to understand what God is thinking, which adds a challenge to any kind of prayer. We can't really change those first two factors directly, but the third factor is something we can change. So often as a church, we fail to help autistics properly understand the faith. We have a service, like a prayer service or a mass, that's not adapted to our sensory needs. I maintain a directory of sensory-friendly masks on my website, and I've only found about a dozen regular ones across the whole United States. These sensory-friendly masses tend to have lower light, low speaker volume, the same songs every week for regularity, more freedom for autistics to stem or to do other things without getting weird looks from people. Nonetheless, with the liturgy, I think Catholics do have a certain advantage over some other religions, as we have a very structured liturgy that repeats every week. So we have a big step in helping autistics once those sensory issues are overcome. Like in, we go to Mass and it's always first reading, second reading, gospel, homily, creed. Likewise, how often do we adapt the way we explain the faith for autistic people? Deacon Larry Sutton has started this with books on helping autistics be engaged in CCD or in Catholic education. But I think we need to go deeper. If autism is different brain structure, then the structure by which we grasp truth will also be different. I think God loves the autistic mind, does a good job in this about prayer, but prayer is not the only aspect of Christian instruction. We autistics tend to be more logically minded, but during teen years, where this is most important, Catholic ministry tends to pivot more towards a very emotional content and stuff that's even harder for autistics to process. By adjusting the way we do ministry to suit the person we're serving, we can help autistics to be happy, healthy, and holy Catholics. I hope that this book is one step in that process. <laughs>